Well, busy morning here. We got uh, cut more burlap, fill more plaster bags, make more boot bar glue, replenish the supplies we've used over the last few days. Then we can go hunting again. Heading out for day four of fossil hunting. Like the sun comes up to five. We should be out by seven. Shut up, Albert. <laughs> you're up at six, you're ready to go. No, we're not ready to go, we're up at six. <laughs> we're actually getting out a little late today because we had to do all that prep work. Yeah, that's Last night. Yeah, we were all beat to death yesterday. I almost went to bed without eating. I was falling asleep at the table. Yeah, I was falling asleep too. Getting too old for this. I think we wore Sam out too, and he's young. Yeah, that's true. No, Sam wore himself out. Right. Yeah, well, he's digging out the world's biggest tortoise, so he's got a lot of. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> okay, maybe take the maybe take the curves a little slower, okay? Better check the gas level in the ATV again. It got a workout yesterday. So this is the area we're going to be hunting today. We call it the plateau. It's just our name for it. It's not on a map. It's not official. Don't go looking for it. You won't find it. Usually find some good stuff out here. And unfortunately, I had stopped filming as we were driving in, and um, spooked a mountain lion, and it ran across our path and off into the into the grass in this general direction actually. So uh, <laughs> some of that poop we see out there full of hair maybe it's not coyote poop after all maybe it's mountain lion poop. Well it's a couple hours in and uh, so far all I found is some little horse teeth some little oreodont teeth and uh, some bone ends and some copper lights. There's, there's tortoise shell all over this hill, everywhere. Gets to where you just ignore it and, uh, you know, look for other stuff in amongst it. But, uh, yeah, fossil hunting, it's a game of uh, luck, skill, and persistence. Well, the eight of us are scattered out across this this area here, and um, I don't think any of them is any luckier than me. Some of them, though, have had close to 30 years' experience out here in this landscape, so that that equates to experience. It's easier for them to identify something, you know, skill-wise. Skill builds with experience, and then persistence. Well, you just got to be out here looking, you know? Can't just, you know, sit down and twiddle your thumbs. You got to get out here. Whether it's hot, whether it's cold. You can get hailed on, rained on. You just got to be out here. Be persistent. One way luck does factor in, though, is whether, you know, the sun angle happens to be right and you happen to be standing in the right place to see the bone or the tooth sticking out of the hill. It's going to lead you to dig up a, a great critter. Oh well. I found a pretty good specimen yesterday, so I'm happy. But uh, I'm going to keep looking the rest of the day, just in case I find something else better. Ten-foot walk around, so anything else you find is yours. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. A 
Bill found a little bitty skull there, which I would not have recognized as a skull. He's much more experienced at this than I am. How many years have you been coming out here, Bill? 15 plus. 15 plus, okay. After some further excavation, can you see the skull going back into the hill? We definitely wouldn't have tried to prep it that far. <laughs> <laughs> a little field prep going on. So Albert found the skull of a small mammal. I think it may be squirrel, which is kind of a first. And he's got this big jacket around it just in case the body's in there somewhere. You see that skull sticking out? Very cute. Very cute. Yeah, well, try not to fall down the hill here. Very good find. Very good find. That'll be easily displayable once it's uh, prepped. Nice. Well, so far today has been pretty much a bust for me. It's a little after two in the afternoon, but I'm still hunting. And I just found a shard of rhino tooth enamel at the base of this hill. See how it fossilizes and weathers out and turns blue? The blue color really stands out out here. It's really easy to see. So I'm going to poke around here and see if I can find any more of this critter. Well, I haven't had too good luck up on top of the hills today, so I'm down here in the valley between a couple of them. And going to look around on the sides of the hills down here, see what I can see from the sides. Or on the base, although probably buried under this mud really quickly, anything that rolls down to the bottom. But try something different. Keep doing the same thing and not finding anything, got to change it up a bit. So, hiking down one of these valleys here, and out of the side of one of the hills is a tortoise, another tortoise, eroding out. But this one, well, it's pretty far gone. The pieces come down between my legs and down into the wash here. This has been exposed for years and years. There's hardly anything left. But you can see how the pieces are eroding out of the hill there. You got to catch something like this the first year it starts eroding out or it goes to pot really quickly. With the freeze-thaw cycles and the wet-dry cycles, expansion and contraction, it all just falls apart really quickly. So, got to keep looking. So, Leslie found this, this pig tooth out here, prehistoric pig tooth, with roots. Premolar. Premolar. Cool. Very nice. Good find. Better than anything I've found. All right. Well, it's getting late in the day, and um, it's clouded up. So the lighting is completely different now. So I've come back up on top on the plateau. And I'm going to give this another look over until we're done for today because with the different lighting, everything looks different. And maybe I'll see stuff I didn't see before. Well, with the different lighting, yeah, I am seeing stuff I didn't see before. Nothing great yet, but here's part of a tortoise eroding out. And maybe another part up here, or actually a completely different tortoise. It's possible there's two of them here. But they are too far gone, way too far gone to even think about trying to uh, recover. So, got to keep looking. Okay, naturally, late in the day, I'm going to find something. It's going to require a lot of digging. You Just have to ask yourself right now, uh -huh. do you want to do all that digging and plastic jacket it and potentially leave it? That's true. We might not. Should I just like cover it and come back? Well, that's the question. Yeah. And obviously, if you want to do the whole process, we'll stay. Oh, well, I don't know if we have any plaster left. We might not. Well, I should check on that. Tomorrow, unless we get this soon. Yeah, so it might, it might be a couple of days. They're planning on buying inheritance. 
Okay. On Monday. Well, maybe I should just boot fire the crap out of it and come back. I think it's your call. I think we can rustle up. I mean, I don't know. That's not going to take a crap load of uh, plastic. No. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me let me go see if there's any plaster left up there. I think they I think they filched it all for the. Well, I found something. We're not sure what it is. It looks like a skull, and it's pretty darn big. And it's the end of the day. And uh oh, oops! I need boot black. Right there beside you. It's the end of the day, and we're trying to decide just how far to go with this today. Come back in the, another day and finish it. We'll see. First, we got to figure out the extent of it, just how big it is. It's already looking pretty big. Well, it's it's late in the day. We don't really have time to uh, finesse this or for me to set up my little tripod and take a video of the whole process. So we're just we're chipping it out just as fast as we can. We're going to get it jacketed and get it out of here. Where the sun sets which is not that far off so i'm gonna get back to work and you'll just have to imagine it look at my turtle video if you want to see how it's done okay we've got it excavated and we've got the uh aluminum foil on it and all i need is a bucket leslie's going to get a bucket and uh we'll mix up some plaster and burlap put a jacket on it break it loose and hopefully get it out of here without any issues. Okay, plaster jacket done. It's a rush job, but it looks pretty good. We're just waiting for it to fully set up. Getting there. Then we'll uh, chisel under it and break it loose from the matrix and hopefully flip it over and get it out of here. Well, there it is. We managed to chisel it loose and flip it over. Looks like we got all the bone in the jacket. Didn't see anything on the ground. So uh, I'm going to pack all my stuff out of here and we're going to wait until we have some help available to get the jacket out of here because it weighs a good bit. Although, probably also going to have to wait for the rest of the crew to recuperate a little bit because they just moved Sam's big tortoise that he found yesterday out of the Badlands a little ways over. So, uh, yeah. So, at least at least we didn't have to help with that. <laughs> I feel a little guilty, but uh, yeah, it took all six of the, the others, I'm sure, to get that thing out of there and up to the grass line. Okay, let me pack my stuff out of here, and uh, once we have some recuperated manpower We'll move this out of here. Okay, we come back at the end of the day and the pickup truck is full of jackets. We've had a good day. There's no doubt about it. We've had a good day. So uh, there's the big tortoise Sam found. There's my skull, probably an Oriodont. Um, I think that's Albert's squirrel. They made a big jacket just because they're hoping that the whole body's in there. And then the other pickup truck's full too. So we had a good day today. A lot of stuff found. Whew, but we are exhausted. Gotta go do it again tomorrow.